Hello, this is the News Channel of New York City. And now here is health news. Studying viral outbreaks in single cells could reveal new ways to defeat them. Many viruses, including HIV and influenza A, mutate so quickly that identifying effective vaccines or treatments is like trying to hit a moving target. A better understanding of viral propagation and evolution in single cells could help. Today, scientists report a new technique that can not only identify and quantify viral RNA in living cells, but also detect minor changes in RNA sequences that might give viruses an edge or make some people super spreaders. The researchers will present their results at the American Chemical Society ACS, Fall 2020 Virtual Meeting and Expo. For studying a new virus like SARS-CoV-2, it's important to understand not only how populations respond to the virus, but how individuals, either people or cells, interact with it, says Laura Fabris, PhD, the project's principal investigator. So we focused our efforts on studying viral replication in single cells, which in the past has been technically challenging. Analyzing individual cells instead of large populations could go a long way toward better understanding many facets of viral outbreaks, such as superspreaders. That's a phenomenon in which some cells or people carry unusually high amounts of virus and therefore can infect many others. If researchers could identify single cells with high viral loads and superspreaders and then study the viral sequences in those cells, they could perhaps learn how viruses evolve to become more infectious or to outwit therapies and vaccines. In addition, features of the host cell itself could aid various viral processes and thus become targets for therapies. On the other end of the spectrum, some cells produce mutated viruses that are no longer infectious. Understanding how this happens could also lead to new antiviral therapies and vaccines. But first, Fabris and colleagues at Rutgers University needed to develop an assay that was sensitive enough to detect viral RNA, and its mutations, in single living cells. The team based their technique on surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy, SERS, a sensitive method that detects interactions between molecules through changes in how they scatter light. The researchers decided to use the method to study influenza A. To detect the virus's RNA, they added to gold nanoparticles a beacon DNA specific to influenza A. In the presence of influenza A RNA, the beacon produced a strong SERS signal, whereas in the absence of this RNA, it did not. The beacon produced weaker SERS signals with increasing numbers of viral mutations, allowing the researchers to detect as few as two nucleotide changes. Importantly, the nanoparticles could enter human cells in a dish, and they produced the SERS signal only in those cells expressing influenza A RNA. Now, Fabris and colleagues are making a version of the assay that produces a fluorescent signal, instead of a SERS signal, when viral RNA is detected. SERS is not a clinically approved technology. It's just now breaking into the clinic, Fabris notes. So we wanted to provide clinicians and virologists with an approach they would be more familiar with than have the technology to use right now. In collaboration with virologists and mathematicians at other universities, the team is developing microfluidic devices, or lab-on-a-chip technologies, to read many fluorescent samples simultaneously. Because SERS is more sensitive, cheaper, faster and easier to perform than other assays based on fluorescence or the reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, known as RT-PCR, it could prove ideal for detecting and studying viruses in the future. Fabris is now collaborating with a company that makes a low-cost, portable Raman spectrometer, which would enable the SERS assay to be easily conducted in the field. Fabris and her team are also working on identifying regions of the SARS-CoV-2 genome to target with SERS probes. We're in the process of obtaining funding to work on possible SARS-CoV-2 diagnostics with the SERS method we developed, Fabris says. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share video. See you the next videos. Studying viruses can be tricky detective work. Just when scientists think they've homed in on an exploitable weakness, a virus can shift its makeup through mutation. It's a common chase in which scientists consistently find themselves one step behind. But a new detection technique developed by researchers from Rutgers University could give scientists a leg up on rapidly mutating viruses. The team's method is based on surface-enhanced Raman spectroscopy, or SIRS. SIRS enables researchers to detect interactions between individual molecules through changes in how they scatter light. 
This level of precision prompted the team from Rutgers, led by Laura Fabris, to test SIR's ability to detect viral RNA. They focused their work on influenza A. To detect the virus's RNA, the team fused gold nanoparticles with a beacon DNA specific to influenza A. In the presence of influenza A RNA, the beacon generated a strong SIR signal, whereas in the RNA's absence, it did not. More importantly, the beacon produced measurably weaker SIR signals as viral mutations accumulated. Ultimately, the researchers could detect RNA changes spanning as few as two nucleotides. The implications could be far-reaching, as SIRS holds many advantages over many viral diagnostics. It's more sensitive, it requires fewer steps, and compared with the technology currently used to test for the novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, it's cheaper and easier to use. Fabris and her colleagues are currently identifying regions of the novel coronavirus genome that could be targeted with SIRS probes. Their findings are reported at the American Chemical Society Fall 2020 Virtual Meeting and Expo.